saw this giant plume of black smoke coming out. Captured on tape, thick black smoke pouring out of a new crematorium in northeast Portland. And neighbors are worried for their health. And tonight, we're getting answers for them. Welcome, everyone, to Coin 6 News at 6 o'clock. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Kelly Day. Now, that crematorium went into an existing funeral home near northeast 80th and East Burnside just a few months ago now. But now, the neighbors say they see that black smoke coming out several times a day. Sally Showman went to the agency that regulates crematorium emissions today and she tried to get some answers for us. Sally? Jeff, uh, Gable Funeral Home declined to comment today, but the neighbors have plenty to say. They're concerned for their own safety and they're concerned for the safety of children who attend a school that's right behind those homes over there. Neighbors have sought answers and tonight, after some pushing, we've got some for them. I saw this giant plume of black smoke coming out. Chuck Spidell shot this video from the playground of Vestal Elementary School. And we'll show you our wonderful view of the smokestack. So you can see it right over there. His son attends Vestal, and they live two doors down from Gable Funeral Home. He says when the incinerator is on, he can see it, hear it, and smell it. It's what's in that smoke that concerns him the most. You know, you got to be really naive to think that nothing's landing on our plants or in people's lungs at the school, the kids are running around. He says he's repeatedly called the Department of Environmental Quality to voice his concern. After receiving complaints like his from several parents, Portland Public Schools also also sought answers from the DEQ earlier this week. Well, we immediately took action and called DEQ, and we're still waiting to hear back from them. When our phone calls were not immediately returned this morning, we visited the DEQ's downtown offices. While in the lobby, an air quality employee told me black smoke coming from a crematorium is never good. One of the, your colleagues that I was talking with out in the lobby said, if you're seeing visibly mm -hmm. dark smoke coming from a crematorium, something is wrong. Mm. Is that true? Well, yeah, I, ideally they will operate in a way that there are no visible emissions at all. This video clearly shows visible emissions, and Monroe says that's the reason he sent inspectors out this morning. There were no visible emissions. But he says every cremation is different, so inspectors will be back to monitor. So we are going to coordinate and try to get out there when, when they have uh, operations that would be more likely to produce visible emissions. As for the lack of response? We've had a lot of complaints come in. We are trying to get back to folks. Um, I personally felt it was more important to get inspectors out there this morning than have them stay in the office and, and return the phone calls. Spidell will only breathe easier once he knows his neighborhood has clean air. Now, late this afternoon, Portland Public Schools called to let me know they've taken steps of their own to make sure the air is safe. They've hired an independent environmental service to go out to the school and take soil samples. We'll keep you posted both on what we heard from the DEQ and the school district. Reporting live in Northeast Portland, Sally Showman, COIN 6 News. Sally, way to get some answers there, and you can count on COIN to stay on top of this story for you. We will continue to follow up with the DEQ and owners of the crematorium. Anything that develops, we will post on air and on online for you as well.